Um, so for a change of style, genre, and period, um, we're going to play two pieces by Ravel. It's the last two pieces of a sweet miroir, so Alborada del Gracioso and Ballet de Cloche. Alborada is, um, is a curious title. Um, it's, in, it's in Spanish, roughly translated, means warning song of the clown or warning song of the comedian, of the buffoon. There's lots of translations. Um, I like the one uh, of the clown because, especially in the orchestral version of this piece, um, quite early on there's just a, a great feeling of sort of somebody going through the, the, the circus tent and sort of having their senses overloaded by, you know, like the, the sights of elephants in cages and, you know, unicyclists, all, all that, all hitting you all at once. Um, the reason it's in Spanish, I think, is because, uh, well, Ravel had Basque heritage and within this piece you can hear a lot of um, sort of nods at uh, guitar playing, sort of flamenco style, where they sort of, they strum the guitar with, with each, each of their fingers at once. And uh, also there's a, there's a section in the middle which is um, definitely guitar. It's a uh, very, very fast sort of repeated notes, which is much easier on the guitar, I think, than on the piano. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the piece after that is um, Valley de Cloche, which means Valley of Bells. It's very, very atmospheric. Um, and the opening for me is sort of like a, kind of like a collage. He has these different ideas and he layers them in different ways, different combinations, and it creates this really beautiful atmosphere. And um, you know, the challenge in this piece is getting, making each bell have its own character and sound. And there's quite a lot of them and they're all very subtly different. Um, the, the whole suite uh, is actually, each of the pieces from the suite were dedicated to a member of this group called Les Apache, which the, a group of intellectuals, musicians and artists, and they, they uh, had a penchant for sort of um, upsetting the establishment a little bit. And um, you can definitely tell with this piece, it's um, especially Valé de Cloche, he goes for the harmonies that don't sit well with, you know, with judges on a, in a composition prize, like the, the Prix de Rome, which he was trying to win all the time. And I think eventually he kind of got a bit fed up and sort of deliberately wrote music to sort of get on, get on these judges' nerves. Um, but at the same time, it's very, very sincere music, and it absolutely works. So um, this is Abuela del Gracioso, followed by Valé de Cloche.